Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I love you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I found a little dusty spot out the way. Make a little video. Talk about Christ, my Savior. The great love of God that washes over us. Oh, softens our hearts. Gives us joy and peace and assurance. It all comes out of the love of God. The love that God has for us in the person of Jesus Christ. I, uh, I'm just so refreshed and, and blessed and rejoicing in Christ my Savior. And I, I just got to thinking and looking at a couple of verses. And uh, I believe I want to share something uh, for Christ and His glory and honor and what He does in our hearts as Christian men. As Christian men. I believe that men are hardwired for challenges, hardwired for challenges and adversities. If a man doesn't have a challenge, um, you know, he can lose his way. A man can lose his way. I, I found for myself that uh, it's not the mountaintops where I get derailed, where, you know, I see everything so clearly and the air is so, so clean and, and, uh, the presence of God is so, so dear and precious and, and close. That's never really been a problem for me. And, and the valleys either, where everything seems dark and you can't see your hand in front of your face, face and, and you, uh, you have to uh, dig deep and find the courage and stand in faith and, and just believe God and, and keep walking. And keep walking. Uh, uh, with your eyes upon Christ and and, and the, the hope that we have in Him. He is our, our blessed hope. Uh, he is our, our morning star that, you know, after the storm, you know, uh, the, the stars will come out and we can reset our course. So the if we are blown off a course, you know, that's what revival is. But the dangerous place for me that I've found is those plateaus where everything becomes routine and, and we get careless. So for me, I know that men need challenges. Uh, we need goals. We need a sense of achievement. Um, and that's another thing that men, I believe, are hardwired. Uh, we, need, uh, we need results. We want to see results. Um, uh, and that's, again, where we walk by faith. Uh, and we, what we do, we do is unto the Lord and trusting Him, you know, for the harvest. One man uh, plows, another sows. You know, uh, God gives the increase. Uh, so we are hardwired for results. And the other one is that sense of uh, belonging, that, that, that band of brothers that were in the struggle together. We have a, a common purpose. And it's just amazing to me how in Christ that men can come together from different cultures and different nations even and under the bloodstained banner that is Christ and that is the love of God. Uh, and it reminded me of Colossians in chapter 3, uh, verse 12 through 14. Put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind. That's where it gets hard. <laughs> Let's go back to the kindness part. Kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, help us, Lord. Forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do you do ye and above all these things put on charity which is the bond of perfectness and it's love that brings us together it's love the bonds of love that that hold us together that band of brothers in Christ you know where we're committed and and uh, and I, I pray sold out for the cause of Christ and that is the souls of men so we all need you know that band of brothers. We all need that 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 uh, sense of belonging and and purpose. Uh, 
And, and Christ gives us that. You know, how do you know that we're, you pass from death to life, but the love that you have? Uh, and Jesus said, how shall men know that you're my disciples, but the love that you have for one another? So that love is really what holds us together. You know, the mercy, the understanding, the patience that we have for one another, even in the difficulty and the, you know, uh, the strife and the things that come up. We love one another. We forgive one another. But that sense of belonging, that band of brothers, that, that uh, challenge. Um, and the other one was the three. There was three of them. And uh, that character and that love. Uh, it doesn't do you any good, you know, if God was to promote you or God to advance you and you show up empty. And results, that was it, results. A challenge, results, and that band of brothers. But it doesn't do you any good or the cause of Christ any good if we take shortcuts, right? Take shortcuts and don't do the work in our own heart, in our own life for the sake of results. For the sake of results, because character still matters. Your word still matters. How you carry yourself. Uh, uh, and at the end of the day, to serve God with a, a clear conscience and a love unfeigned. So uh, just those three things. If I could challenge you, uh, challenge you. <laughs> A challenge. We need a challenge. We need a purpose. Something, you know, for the greater good. That cause that 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 compels us, uh, and that is the love of God. The results. You know, we 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 trust in and believe in God. Of course, we want results, but not at the price and the sacrifice of character and love for God first and for our fellow man. Uh, and the third one was that sense of brotherhood. So God, today I pray will uh, give you a, that you feel welcome in the house of God, that you feel challenged in the house of God, that the Lord will will reach down on the inside of you and pull out, you know, that part of you, that gifting and that calling, and that you get after it uh, for Jesus Christ. So I'm just rejoicing in Christ. I sometimes don't communicate it uh, the very best. But I just pray that you know and understand it's a love, my brother. Uh, it's the love of Christ. You know, uh, the great love of God in the person of Jesus Christ that washes us and cleanses us, that draws us together, that keeps us together, that keeps us on task, hallelujah, and helps us to be effective and challenged. And uh, I just pray today that God will give you a field. Hallelujah. That God will dial you in, <laughs> give you a challenge, give you results, and give you that, that band of brothers that we all need. We all need it. Uh, so I pray today the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. <laughs> give you peace and rest in your soul with a challenge, with a challenge. So God bless you today. Have fun, stay safe, and give God the glory in everything.